and we're going to see our list of activities. So the debits are increasing the cash account, as we can see. So the 1543 uh, is going up by the 680 to the 15723. Then it's a debit bounce account. It's going down with the credit, down to 15473. Then it's going down with the credit to 14373. And then it got a debit, so it went up. So this is our running total over here. Of course, the end of this account, as of the end of the month, ties out to our balance on the trial balance. Notice what it does not tie out to, however, is the balance on the bank statement as of the end of the month. And that's typically going to be the case. That's almost always going to be the case. And that doesn't necessarily mean we made an error. Even if we recorded everything perfectly, there still would be a timing difference because it is a timing difference. Meaning, uh, if we write a check, then that check is going to come out of our books right away. So, for example, this check here, this 250 that was written, is going to come out of our account as soon as we wrote it, which was on January 23rd. But it needs to go through the mail. It needs to be picked up by the recipient of the check who then needs to take it to the bank. The bank needs to then contact our bank. So it's not going to clear until a later date. So we recorded it correctly. We want it on our books as soon as we write the check. We want to record that. But we can't verify that it's been cleared until it clears the bank, which in this case happened here on uh, February 2nd. So that's going to be the idea. And that's what's going to make the difference that will always be there. So we expect there to be a timing difference. Also note that the beginning balance here, this 1543, does not equal the beginning balance or the ending balance as of January, which would be the beginning balance as of February, which is 14273 on our books. And that's because of the timing difference of the last month. So notice that if we took out these three transactions and we were up here, which on our books was before January 20th, then we tie out. So we see that we tie out here. And that's when we reconciled last month, we had these three transactions outstanding. So when we then reconcile this month, we expect that these three transactions have cleared. And then we're going to go through the, our current transactions and see what has cleared and see if there's anything then that is outstanding.